this was the this was my last big project that I worked on uh, like early to 2019 like late 2018 a French album called well identity or identité in French so many people helped me make this thing into a reality it was one of the biggest projects that I ever, ever I never thought I would finish I never thought I would actually see it in physical form I have the discs here but yeah this is one of the awesome most awesome thing p things in my possession this is a booklet and these are the songs there's nine plus one song um, the tenth song is the remix of this of the fifth song, and I think um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this album. Why not? The it's a French project, like you see, like you can see. It's my third album in 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 an order of. I I never thought I would go this far in my music making, but yeah, the first song or uh, the the French song uh, the French. Uh, where the name of it is Le Labyrinth. Labyrinth in uh, English is labyrinth or a maze or basically like a pathway without a way out. The second song is called Metropole or Metropolis or basically a gigantic city, a gigantic big town with like, you know, all those you know, futuristic things you see, like dark, dark with neon lights and everything, the whole thing. I'm doing a very good job at explaining, I can see. The third one is, um, the, the, the song is called Au Revoir, or uh, Until We Meet Again, basically, or I Hope To See You Soon, something like that. The, the French language has a bunch of different kinds of goodbyes. Um, one, of the, one of the more common types of saying goodbye is Au Revoir, or like you say, you see, this is, this is a combination of O, A, U, which is like a proposition for two, and revoir, which is the ro plus voir. Ro is like a re in English language. It's a, re it's a repetition prefix. And voir is seeing or meeting. And revoir means meeting again. So au revoir would mean until like we meet again, something like that. The fourth one, I almost said quatrième. The fourth one is samedi soir or um, or Saturday evening, and it's an actual real song that I wrote in a Saturday evening in France. I was just big chilling with my cup of coffee, and it was raining. It was awesome, so I wrote this song, tried to like crystallize it and immortalize it in in, in song form. Then we have Elise, which is, which originally had a different name. The song was gonna be called something else. And uh, the song, this one isn't about a person. It's not about a real person. It's about a statue maker who falls in love with his statue. He, like he, he's a sculptor and he sculpts a statue and it's so beautiful and pretty that he falls in love with it. And he, and he wishes that he would like cast his soul into the statue so that the statue come come to life and they would like hang out and be forever together but they end up being together forever but not with the happy ending that you think which is um like the fantasy kind he actually dies because of of, of his love and this probably is the saddest song of the album it's super sad unfortunately i can't play it because of twitch and it's dmca i might i might uh, i might play it with like irl instead of just playing the song the sixth one is a title track identity identity or identity which is a very in my opinion harsh critic or maybe a fair critic in 2021 i don't know on the negative effects when it comes to social media and when it comes to um, like being always somebody or something you are not it's the heaviest song in terms of its composition. It's like metal and aggressive, like uh, like that. The seventh one is kind of an epilogue for, ident for, for Identité. The song is called the Unité Divisée, which is an uh, which is an oxymoron. An oxymoron is two opposites next to each other. 